this is a masterpiece by Edward Hopper, uh, who is the leading American modernist, painting scenes of the city, uh, particularly New York City, the urban scene with, in this case, uh, office girls who are secretaries or office workers out for dinner in a Chinese restaurant uh, in the city of New York. Uh, he was best known for uh, bringing these everyday scenes to life uh, in a modernist idiom uh, to create something a little bit more than just a record of a scene. It happens they're sitting in a uh, Chinese restaurant. You've got two couples uh, together, uh, one in the foreground and another couple in the background. Sometimes the case with Hopper, there's, there's a story underneath that's a little uh, uh, harder to understand at first. Uh, you look closely at the, at the painting, uh, which is, I said, in a restaurant. There's no food on the table. Uh, with Hopper, there's often something a little odd or a little unusual uh, in his pictures. The people are sitting together, but they don't seem to be talking or communicating with each other. Uh, there's a little uh, a disconnection uh, between themselves, although there's also some kind of tension of, of, the, of a relationship or an understanding between them as well. What I, I think people love about Edward Hopper and why he's so popular in the United States and considered to be one of our greatest early modernist painters uh, is his sense of what it's like to live in the city. His sensibility about uh, life in New York is something that we can sympathize with as, as city dwellers as many of us are. This painting was painted in 1929. It's also the last great Edward Hopper in private hands that's likely ever to come on the marketplace. And we think it will sell for a record price. The current record is for a painting uh, we sold at Christie's called East Wind over Weehawken, which sold a few years ago for just over 40 million. Uh, that was a painting of, of, of homes and houses in uh, New Jersey, near New York City. It was not a figure of work, it was a city landscape. Uh, we feel that this, because it is, is uh, uh, more classic, uh, more characteristic of his most famous work, when this painting was painted, uh, it was immediately a success. Uh, it's been in almost every single book on Hopper, every major exhibition on Hopper ever since. It was featured in 2012 at a major exhibition in Paris at the Petit Palais, uh, where hundreds of thousands of people went to see the Hopper exhibition. It was one of the best attended exhibitions in Paris ever. Uh, along with uh, uh, Monet, with Picasso, Hopper's show in Paris was one of the best attended. Uh, you can see uh, masterpieces by Hopper in the Chicago Art Institute, the Metropolitan Museum in New York. You can see them at the Whitney Museum in New York. There are major works by Hopper in important museums throughout the United States. There are almost none left in private hands, uh, and none that I know of from this date in private hands, so this early uh, classic period for Hopper. We're thrilled to have brought the Hopper to Hong Kong. Uh, perhaps it may even stay in China. <laughs>